In today's world, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM is the game changer. Yet, women and girls are still underrepresented globally in science-related fields. But the case is more precarious for persons living with disabilities, PWDs, braving the odds to find space in that space. On the UN International Day of Women and Girls in Science, I share with you a brief on a 20-year-old amputee science student who is not only determined to change the narrative for herself, but the disability world. She's determined to advance her capacity city and contribute effectively to the STEM world. Diagnosed with bone cancer in class 3 just at age 9, Emanuela Blay Ando did not snuff out her dream of becoming a top-notch app developer even after her right leg was amputated in 2011. Because of that, she missed part of her class 3, no class 4 and 5 and finally returned to school in classics. With the firm resolve of her parents, Manuela sailed through school, through junior and senior high schools, with good grades from Ahantaman Senior High School at Second D in the Western Region. Although I was very young, I remember it wasn't easy for me and my family. My parents were financially strained. I lost my passion and had to stop schooling for a while. However, I was determined not to give up. I had to find my strength if there was any hope of me returning back to school. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUST, was a choice of higher institution to pursue further studies in science. Now a level 200 computer engineering student, Emanuela says her interest is in electronics, programming and computer networking. I want to become a computer engineer because I am fascinated about how things are assembled and it will help me enhance my creative capacity. A UNESCO 2021 science report scores one in three researchers in science is a woman globally, while 30% of science professionals in Africa are women. In Ghana, only 14% of students at universities are women. In this percentage, only a fraction represents persons living with disabilities. Particularly for people that have um, disability, what we call challenges, it, it's significant that we focus on ensuring that um, they are provided with the support that is needed to excel in all endeavors. On the part of the UNDP resident representative in Ghana, Dr. Angela Lugisi, given the opportunity, Women and girls can contribute meaningfully to the development of their countries by providing solutions and fresh perspectives to existing challenges. And that is what Emanuela wants to be, an inspiration to other young girls, especially persons living with disabilities, to be solution providers in their generation. Now, with the support of Youth Bridge and Talu Ghana, Emanuela is a mentor in STEM. The call is for governments to do more, bridge the gender gap, and ensure inclusivity in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM world. For GBC News, 